and then you add the honey on top of that and the walnuts for a little bit of crunch, this is an amazing little treat. Always better in Greece, topped with a little traditional olive oil, but until you come here and you actually try it, it's a little different. The city of Athens is a dichotomy. While it is completely saturated with ancient ruins from one of the world's oldest empires, it is simultaneously a modern European metropolis. This contrast of old and new also translates to the food scene in the Greek capital. As we set out to immerse ourselves in the many flavors of Athens, we were excited to explore the classic establishments serving long-standing recipes, but also the new wave of influence. The first stop of the day, an Athenian classic, Stani. This old-fashioned dairy bar has been serving fresh Greek yogurt since 1931. It is actually the last remaining example of what used to be a staple in Athens, an establishment dedicated to providing fresh dairy to the locals. Their signature dish is plain Greek yogurt doused in fresh honey and topped with walnuts. So I do have to admit, I'm usually a little hit or miss when it comes to Greek yogurt. And it's usually for me about the consistency, because I think if you get a Greek yogurt that's just okay, it can sometimes be like a little bit chalky, and I just don't like that consistency in my mouth at all. What I really like about this, I love that we came to the source because this is traditional fresh Greek yogurt and it's just so smooth. The consistency of this, it doesn't really chunk up at all. It's just so, so silky smooth. And then you add the honey on top of that and the walnuts for a little bit of crunch. This is an amazing little treat and a good way to get your calcium. There's a lot of Greek yogurts out there that kind of rely on the sweet fruit or jam that's in it. Even though this does have a lot of honey around it, it's really good by itself. It's got this nice sourness to it. It's made with either sheep's cheese or goat's cheese, depending on the day, depending on what they have. And again, just the freshness of it really comes through. The best Greek yogurt I've ever had in my life is in Greece. After our heavenly breakfast, we walk to the city center to visit our favorite coffee shop, Dope Roasting Company. Despite being right down the road from the ancient Acropolis, Dope is definitely an example of the new wave of influence in Athens. times this week to work and utilize their Wi-Fi and we recently discovered the Ice Pistachio Latte. By far one of the most unique flavors I've ever had in a coffee. Sweet and salty. Back to the classics. If you're looking for a traditional Greek meal, look no further than Othanasis, a long-standing Greek taverna located a few short stops away from the Monastiriki Square. It is the perfect place to try all of the staples of Greek cuisine. It's hard to pin down exactly what makes Greek food so special. The blend of citrusy flavors, the use of quality olive oil, and the fresh herbs are definitely contributing factors. And salty, creamy feta cheese is a gift from the Greek gods. If I had to describe Greek cuisine to someone who has never had it, I would say that the flavors are strong, the ingredients are fresh, and the recipes are perfection. So we've got ourselves a full spread here at Othanasis. We've got a traditional lamb kebab, we've got feta cheese, which is always better in Greece, topped with a little traditional olive oil. We've got tzatziki sauce, which again, better in Greece. 
anyone that's ever been to a Euro place knows what tzatziki is. But until you come here and you actually try it, it's a little different. It's something about the cucumbers, and they put olive oil in it, they put garlic in it. And then fresh toasted pita, of course. And I've also made a discovery here. Alpha beer is fantastic. So kebabs are delicious, but they sit pretty heavy. So we are gonna go for a little walk through the Plaka district. And the Plaka district, before I get run over by this moped. <laughs> the Plaka district is home to a lot of restaurants, cafes, just where people spend their afternoon on the weekend. So we're gonna go see what's going on. To cap off a full day of Greek culinary ecstasy, we made a stop at Idria Cafe in the Paca neighborhood. They are well known for their Porto Calapita, a traditional dessert that is a must have in Greece. This dense orange cake is topped with a sweet syrup, and it is a divine blend of citrus and cinnamon flavor. While baklava is the most popular dessert, it can be found anywhere in the Balkan region. Porto Calapita is a little more traditional to Greece specifically, and in our humble opinion, it is so much better. While we couldn't have asked for a better culinary journey through this ancient city, a perfect day in Athens is not complete until you admire the sunset. We made our way to the best sunset vantage point in the entire city. Sunset at the Parthenon Slopes is how you have to end the day. We are definitely not the only people to have this thought. There's a lot of people up here. But look how beautiful it is. I'll lose my big head. 